Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to review the EDW launcher too. So this is my launcher of the week. So each week I show you guys uh, mostly the new launcher, uh, some new Android launcher tips, uh, something different. So this is another part of my video, my channel. So I'm using this launcher from a couple of days now, almost four to five days I had it. So I am using on OnePlus 3T. So I got a very great feeling here. And I took always uh, one concept uh, to see like how far I can go with this launcher. The best way is to you know modify and mold it to some different launcher. So I'm just trying to modify it and look exactly like I have my Pixel phone. So in that way you can actually feel it better like how does your launcher performs and because anyway uh, if you're trying some different launcher you should be looking for some unique feature like what kind of feature you're going to get in that launcher whether you can easily uh, you know make it or change it how does it looks like in the way you want it to. So so many things you can do it that way. So let's get started and see and i just noted all the points here and as usual as a best practice it's very fast and good so anyways this is the desktop that you will get and just press there is no way to uh, right and left you can just add different home screen in case you wanted to there's no swipe feature so these are the option you are going to get it wallpaper widget lock desktop themes gestures system settings and this is actually the default android setting that you can get so there is no uh, built-in wallpaper you need to rely on some other wall launchers or application in case you are using also uh, going further you have the widgets you can create it and uh, they have some different layouts of adding widget you can see it shows you all the possible applications this is the edw launcher specific widget so so many things are here then and of course uh, again if i go here to the widget section and you see activities all the application that you have installed so it's unlike different than what usually will get in the android it shows up on the home screen so it is slightly different from that so this is how you can lock the desktop then you cannot move it here and there so and also uh, if i come here so the best thing is that uh, they support uh, some sort of uh, 3d touch for the android that you will get in the pixel phone so here's a quick demo i'm just taking the same layout so this is my twitter here if i just show you long press so there's so uh, some exactly same option so they just added edw options everywhere anyway that is okay and also let's and the good thing is that they shows you can see there is an arrow symbol actually this shows what kind of uh, applications do support these thing and take an example if i take the google photos if i do i'm feeling lucky so uh, clear space free space so some sort of things they have changed it let's see google keep so you can see exactly the uh, same kind of stuff uh, you're going to get in all this launcher so getting inside this app drawer and you can see it shows exactly what are the apps support so play music they have option so you can check out so many things you can do with this uh, stuff here also now let's get inside so some features i do want to show you guys here uh, since this launcher is adw2 so that means it has created again from the ground to scratch using the material design concept so this is how the material design concept looks like you have the different hamburger layout in, in the desktop so uh, they are not much launcher which shows this kind of design even though you get this feature like most recent apps recently used so all the launchers give this flexibility and they have the different feature you can actually add your personal applications in case you're using a lot you to clean your desktop uh, bit so this is how you do that so perfectly i have made it to look like uh, similar to the pixel and icons you can rearrange the and also good thing i want to show you guys in the folder i really like it so much because i did not find it anywhere else uh, this is a folder you can click name here say you got uh, six to eight options right now if i just click here so notice here if i just click here uh, edit here uh, actually this is locked that's why I'm not able to do that now if I go in you can see there is a uh, some bunch of uh, option here if I just click it here so uh, this is where options come the folder has been modified if you just swipe up it will open the folder if you just click it it will open the application so uh, that is very nice thing you can see uh, it takes a bit of time here again you have to remove it you can just go to the adw option click edit so they have a lot of good animations you can just change it and swipe to open and launch you can just change it that way you will get the usual folder you can do these things here so a lot of good things is also there you can add different themes here if you just uh, go to the theme section you can actually make it to look like marshmallow nougat lollipop KitKat so that sort of option is very great and going inside this advanced settings you do have many options like you can do a proper backup restore and you can eventually restore from other launchers in case you are running so that is also a very nice thing 
to do this thing and other different different options so at the last they have lot of options are there customizing things are there so probably you are going to get the same feature on the nova launcher prime actual launcher 3 in case you're running so so many things you can do with that and pretty much you can configure everything the dock the icon the desktop the folder and you can see the background image i have just taken black you can make it a complete transparent so at the short it is complete flexible launcher that you will get with the nova launcher prime and all but this is uh, having a more advanced i will say it will give you a lot of more options that you will get with other launchers so uh, most of the things you are not going to need it to and the good thing is that they have the template manager so it is sort of broken i will say why uh, i will show you guys here you can see now guys the template manager is not working properly if i just go here as you can see right now it's showing no data if i just go and click on the play store and it shows me like this template is stalled and it is not working why i'm saying it is not working because uh, i wanted to create uh, this you know weather widget here but i'm not able to get that weather widget here so i did try it a lot uh, once it is created but it's quite removed anyway i'm not just going to create it again so this is what i drawback found so as you can see this is again a drawback if you don't lock your uh, see uh, if you just so uh, uh, it is not locked still <laughs> i'm not able to move it so you can see it was locked but i was not able to move it so some sort of issues are there now it is came so things are there and also some drawback i did found that it is not working as smooth as it should be and uh, there is uh, some animations delay so let me clear all the applications i just cleared all the stuff here and i'm just going to launch uh, some set of applications so this is windows 3t 6 gigabytes of ram versus uh, snapdragon 21 and same a21 4 gigabytes of ram so now let's compare a quick speed test I'm just going to launch Twitter here. So notice animation delay on this launcher. You can see it's taking a bit of time here. If I remove that launcher, it's going to work properly. I know that. And now let's launch uh, Google Keep. You can see everything is taking a bit of time here to launch. So this thing uh, is a drawback here. I did found it. And also I really don't like the way it shows me, you know, this circular things. I mean, what is the need of that one if it is nothing is there they should not be i did not find any option or maybe it's there is very deep i was not able to get it clearly so this sort of uh, things are there so uh, there you have it guys this is all about this uh, launcher adw2 so at the end yeah if you're looking for a very great flexible launcher similar to like you have you have got bored off with the action launcher no launcher prime then go and try that out it's very great a uh, very different unique feature particularly I like about this folder stuff and all the things so you can make it mold it to anywhere you wanted to but in case you're not looking for any high class launcher you're just fine with whatever you have so you can go and enjoy your current launcher whatever you're running so that's it for this launcher of the week review and also let me know in the comment or my twitter handle at gi support which launcher do you want to review for the next week otherwise i'll pick by my own size this is sarah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching have a great day